at the end of a puzzle that might not have a solution. I think I need to do some puzzling pondering on my perilous predicament. It comes to my thought that if up is down and down then must be by all logic. So if everything is up there, maybe by using something like this. Levioso. No? I mean, it sends a reason that if I use like Wingardium Leviosa or something like that, it would, I don't know, pull it towards me? Because th then that would be, by logic, well, logic is out of the window here. It would make sense that it is indeed... Descendo. Revelio. Ah! I found a culprit that so Accio Wingardium Leviosa. Oh well So much fun to be had. My head is spinning. I must say it wasn't completely off base. It wasn't 100% on, either. Oh, oh, bloody hell. I am... Well, uh, down it is. Lumos. I feel like that door... Do I trust this... Mm, very torn. I don't know if I trust that door. Do I trust this other door? Not... Well, I guess I don't have a choice, do I? When one is in this type of situation, one must put their trust only in a linear fashion. The way forward... Even if that way forward is being controlled by some sort of prankster ghoulish poltergeist Accio. come Wingardium Leviosa. attach yourself all right try 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 lumos okay that rotated this again Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to cause the room to rotate again. I see. Accio! Um. Wingardium Leviosa. There. I was like, I don't know if it's going to materialize. But I will hold out hope. Except that is all I can do. Let's hold out hope. And no play make one quite dull indeed. Um, correction. I believe it is all work in no play makes one a dull boy. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. But if you wish to take license with it, I suppose I cannot fault you. Very evidently goes probably over here. And then I must go, in all likelihood, the other way. Lumos. Probably behind him. Isn't this wonderful? They own a shop, they said. It be easy, they said. Well, I can't say that they actually said that. I might have been a bit hasty jumping into this. 
and I I must admit going forward if it's too good to be true it more than likely is and if a house elf gives you warnings unprompted and then has to silence themselves Lumos. there more than likely is a very good reason that one should take heed for unsavory things lovely oh okay we have three doors that all lead into short hallways. And the hallways are bookended by doors on either end. Left, right, or center. I'm going to the right. Will it matter? Uh, probably not. Oh. This room is, um. familiar. Oh, deja vu! Hmm. Oh, yes, I don't like that. Will it change any going into another door? Of course not. Why would I expect to be able to go back? This is a metaphor that one must live with one's decisions. It's a bit on the nose. Watch your step. Lumos. I evidently chose poorly. I no doubt will probably choose poorly again and have to go through all three. Or maybe not. Don't trust chairs now. Lumos. Chairs have a weird way of coming back to bite you in the butt. Lumos. I should have seen that coming. Chairs, globes, all manner of decor. It's got a manner of ruining the decorum. Hmm. Running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps. Yes, yes, yes. It works better to drive your prey mad Lumos. when you don't give them hints. Let them come to their own conclusions. This is going to be an endless hall. What the? What was that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm... Massively disproving. This place needs a massive renovation. Lovely, I love the whole. Four walls are enclosing on me. It makes me feel. Lumos. So, um. So very much at ease. Okay. Ah, um, no offense. Lumos. Apparently, that does nothing. Um, 
it's just how about we agree to go our separate ways you stay there oh I saw that little flash of a mannequin I don't like it this is stupid oh how nice it is to oh hello 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 I detest every single one of you. I hope you realize that. Ah, f blood. Incendio. Back off. We are not Incendio. playing this game. We are going to keep a respectful distance from one another in not, not try to accost friends we are friends here Lumos. friends do not attack other friends Incendio. okay Lumos. You are not deep. Oh my god. Protego. Stupid. I'm against a wall. Lumos. Okay. Lovely. Keep calm. Keep calm. How about Revelio? How do you like that? Hmm? Lumos. Well, apparently that's all but useless. Hmm. Okay. Well. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Right. So we need to go right over here. Two lanterns to light the way. More we can weld. Well, that's two keys unlocked. I hate you. And I don't hate much. Ow! I don't understand your. Aren't you just so... Oh! That's close. Now that's different Ow! Well done! I'll give you a moment to connect yourself. If you can! ta -ta! Send you now! <sighs> Very well, I guess we go back. Hmm, I've not had good experiences with long hallways in this place. Okay. It's dumb. Especially seeing everything that's in here. Yes. What could possibly go wrong? Going down a torchlit cavernous hallway with a full moon out. That leads to a graveyard. You're being a bit on the nose and a bit cliched. Ominous tunnels, graveyards. Do I like it? No, I still do not like it. But some creativity wouldn't go awry. Aha! 
finally! You, my inordinately clever friend, appear to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now, and do you agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, mm. uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. You get your shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Fair. Let the games begin! Oh. Lovely. Catch is cat, cat. Okay. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Send you. Akio. Oh, oh, I do not want that. I want. Okay, I need to think things through. Yes. Incendio. We are well, um no 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 no. I need I need I need I need what do I need? What is this? Uh focus no. Um, Bombarda, perhaps, might be good. Confringo. Nope, wrong spell. Because, of course, I am a bit of a dump. Ah, oh. again, wrong spell. That is. No, oh, that is right. Bombarda. There. Ooh, are you were close. I. Confringo. Can. Ooh. Oh, so very, very close. I don't think Defender is much of use. Um, Confringo seems to do a fair bit. Throw something at me, please. Or not. Protego! There. You are perfect. There. Okay. Let's. Then you'll reap it. Oh, lovely mannequins. Ow. Oh. Oh. Oh, so close. Stupid one. Bombarder. You are no longer. Nor are you. Protego. Stupid. Stupid. Bombarda. And here comes the charge. One, two, and Stupid. Three. Defender. Go one, two, and three. 
these mannequins are rather irritating. Here we are. Oh, there's only one left. Yes, 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 you. Mm, nope, nope, nope. That. I want to drop a rock. But I cannot throw a rock. Studio. Try my patience. And Ooh. so close. Ooh. More than a test of endurance. Try seeing things from my point of view. Uh oh. Lovely. This is mildly nauseating. Nope. Yes, obviously that does not do much. How about I just, I guess, get hit in the face by a big boulder? How about that? I like that. One, two, three. Back to basics. There. Oh. Now I can actually see again without one to curl. Stupid Hell. I would expect, being that it's mostly boxes, that fire would be doing more. Well, boxes and cauldrons. My spells would have more of an effect. <sighs> well, well, finally, someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. Um, I wouldn't call that fun. I wouldn't call it fun, really. Wouldn't you? Hmm. To each their own, I suppose. So, about the contract. I am a poltergeist of my word. What are your terms? Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Hmm, mostly. And what's in it for you? Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Mm. One day a month, you get unfettered access to cause chaos. As long as the chaos isn't too detrimental, I can repair it pretty quickly, or even Penny could do that. Huh. Then I get a business that can make me money. Very well, it seems agreeable. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? Correct. I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. 
Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing that is fair. business with you. You've like worn a... me out. Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. Huh. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Perfect. I was going to say, unidentified item. I could just close down the one day of the month that you go all bonkers. Oh, and clean up the skeletons. I have a place of repute to run. The horror vibe is not included. Right. It is, of course, daytime. Hello, Penny. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. Yes. You knew I can't put the blame on the elf. Of course I'm back. It was an annoying, prolonged delay by a poltergeist. But yes, I'm back. And the former owner of this business is now on my not so favorable list. Were you worried I might not return? Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another mm. shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. And by that implication, I do not. I can appreciate and respect the limitations that your former master may have implemented. And I do appreciate and thank you for what you could tell me. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Perfect. <sighs> it's one of those days where even the prospects of good candy, a nice warm butterbeer, and some general harmless mischief won't necessarily raise my spirits. I've had what would what one would call a turbulent night of irritation. Hello, Officer Singer. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her yes. shop. Yes. It, um... Yes, it sounds a little bit crazy. Why are you surprised? I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. But more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. Okay. And according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Or shall I fetch the Veritaserum? 
It would be just a quick jaunt back to the, back to the castle. <sighs> Very well. Oh, Cassandra! Your day of reckoning has come. That's a bit ominous and dark and, well, giving a violent implication. None of which I um, want. I just need closure. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant, Cassandra. It's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now, they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, stop her! Confringo! Stupid! Yes, you need to try harder than that, Miss Mason. Oh, bloody hell. Stupid! After. Rude! After all, I've been up all night fighting your poltergeist friend. Luck is a fat. And I must say, they put up a better fight than you. Yes, didn't like I that, did you? I should have known better than to do business with a wily student. Protego! Oh. Confringo! Oh, you are... Irritating. How about... Some ancient magic to lighten up your defenses. Bombarda. Ah, you. Come on. Oh, you and your pumpkins. Yes, yes, yes. Didn't like that, did you? Confringo. And how about Bombarda? And Defendo for good measure. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Worth a try. Oh, look at that. Your pumpkins. Yes, yes, yes. You need to try harder. What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? Apparently, more than you can handle. You've lost your touch, Miss Mason. It also helps that you keep getting blasted into a stone wall. Oh, look at that. Apparating. I'm so scared. That was actually kind of a good move. I will respect that. As much as one can. Oh, oh, you tried. Actually, when I'm thinking about it, Expelliarmus might be dead useful. Oh, who doesn't have a wand? You. You need to do better. Oh. A mandrake in my inventory that might. That. He wants to say hi. Ow. Didn't like that, did you? I certainly did. Oh, you are tricky. You are such a sucks. for a fight. Truly. How's my thoughts exactly? You've hit me once or twice with a pumpkin. That has been about it. The rest has been rather disappointing. Ah, 
I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerous! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Second that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Thank you, officer. Spoony little traitor herself! I should have known it was- Silencio. Ah. Uh, much better. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Perfect. Perfect singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Oh my goodness. Yes. I... Well, that is the wrong spell. I want that. I agree with you. Eyeball chest. I too have a great deal of concern and worry for the village of Hogsmeade. Well, no. Rewind, rephrase. I did. And now, Cassandra is where she belongs in Azkaban prison for many a year. Meanwhile, I've got a new shop. A, well, mildly irritating poltergeist. And Penny the house elf. Hello. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. I know. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Well, see, there's one sticking point to my mind with this whole business ownership and everything is that, well, it feels rather, rather odd, rather strange that I own another sentient being and I cannot in good faith have that on my conscience. I am therefore relieving my ownership over you. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop, and Penny will take care of the rest. I like the sound of Cladwell and Brewster. For no other reason than it sounds, well, I don't know. It's got a nice ring to it. Vestas and Venom. Eh, yeah, little... Not good. Stitches and drafts. Not my favorite, but Cladwell and Brewster. It's got like a nice, I don't know, lawyerly sound to it. I choose Cladwell and Brewster. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. 
What a lovely hat. I love it. Hoo-hoo, shopkeeper's ensemble. Let's have a look at this sign. Cladwell and Brewster. That is a shop of repute. Just don't ask too many questions about what happens after nine. <laughs> 